Hey everybody, what's going on? Now I know I still owe you a video on my 3D printing overview series, but I just got this thing in the mail on Friday and I was pretty anxious to put it together. So uh, here's a quick time lapse of me taking this from a kit here to a printer here. Now, I'm not going to do a full review on this thing because there's plenty of other guys out there on the internet who have the short version of it is that it's a good machine. It's really nice. I would say, um, you know, it's, it's very mechanically sound, very rigid, everything's square, has a lot of uh, smart intelligence to it, uh, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. Um, you know, things like uh, runout protection on your filament or if it jams, you know, it'll tell you, it'll stop the print, let you fix it, and then you can continue without, so if you have a long print, you know, a print that takes a long time, then uh, something like that happens, like you run out of filament, it's not going to ruin it, you just load up more filament later, and it continues right where it left off. Um, supposedly, it, it'll protect itself from power outages too, if you have a, a, a blackout, it'll raise the hot end up and move it to the side a little bit, and then when the power recovers, uh, if it hasn't been a long time, it'll just continue printing. If it has been a while, it'll ask you if you want to resume. And uh, you can theoretically just resume from where it left off. Um, there's skipped step protection, which, uh, you know, if the, the hot end maybe bumps your print, maybe there was a glob, and uh, the stepper motor skips some steps, uh, the printer then doesn't know its location anymore because it doesn't, uh, there's no feedback it knows its position by counting the steps, uh, the increments that it moved the motors. Um, but if it skips steps, um, this can actually detect it. It'll go home itself again, uh, so it'll find its location again, and then resume printing. Boom, nice. You know, it's, uh, sweet little things like that that make it, uh, make it a nice machine. I actually bought it because um, there's a multi-material upgrade for it, which I'm still waiting for, which will let me print with four different materials at once. Uh, so either four colors or different materials, like a, maybe a flexible and a, a rigid of some sort. Or, um, you know, maybe you could do neat things like uh, use a heavy iron-filled uh, PLA for the infill and then something like an, maybe an ABS on the outside that you can vapor smooth so you can have a nice smooth pretty print um, that has some weight to it on the inside so that would be really cool you know uh, things like that I want to try out but I'm rambling here um, my overall thoughts of this thing I really do like it uh, it's it's um, the thing I like about it is high quality parts uh, it's not like they cheaped out bought a bunch of import stuff I mean, they bought, they put all the good parts of uh, of a printer, all the good parts that you would normally use to upgrade a cheap printer, they already have inside. You know, like they have Noctua fans, um, very quiet, high-end fans, uh, because this thing is very, very quiet, has good drivers, uh, trinamic drivers in it. Uh, again, something... I upgraded my printers with this fan. I upgraded my fan, my printers with the Trinamic drivers, you know. So it's already got this stuff in there. And those drivers allow it to do some of the smart stuff like skip detection. It also makes it very silent. Um, what else does this thing have? Uh, even uh, the electronics. Well, I just kind of said the electronics, but the actual board, um, you know, made in America, um, which, eh. Probably better than China, who knows, at this point. But they're good, they're nice sturdy boards. Um, and they're made specifically for this machine right now um, by Alta Machine. Alta Machine, yeah. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the hot end, the actual hot end, E3D. Again, uh, an outstanding uh, aftermarket brand that they incorporated into the machine. Uh, so my two high-end printers, I updated most of both of those with the E3D. So this is it's already built in. Very nice. You know, they even even when it came to the the uh, zip ties, the cable ties, wire ties, whatever you want to call these, nylon ties. They have a thousand little names with these little stupid things, right? They're used for cable management and a couple other essential parts of the printer here. Uh, 
They, didn't cheat, they could have cheaped out. They actually used Hellerman Titan, which is, if you're in the cable industry, um, they're the, the, like the number one brand for cable management stuff. So they probably made like this looming here and they make, I don't know, thousands of other products, heat shrink, heat shrink boots, uh, all kinds of labeling uh, products and cable management products and everything. Huge company, uh, you know, high quality. So again, not cheapy stuff, you know, even on the, the, the cheap component of this thing, they didn't cheap out, they got good stuff. So very impressed and uh, the kit went together well. It, uh, I didn't really have any problems. I followed an online guide uh, to put it together and uh, it all pretty much made sense. The assembly of the hot end, I have to say, <laughs> stressed me out a little bit. Um, but only because it was towards the end of the day and it was probably the most, most complex thing, uh, definitely. Um, lots of little f fiddly bits, but nothing that was too wonky. I mean, it, it all makes sense. There's nothing sketchy in the design, so I was very happy about it. Uh, you know, with that, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, my first print, I did a, a high high-end print. I'll show you a close-up of this thing, but this thing is freaking beautiful. I mean, really nice printing. First print out of the box. So, hey, can't beat that, right? Uh, anyway, with that, uh, my nose is running. I'm sniffing, probably annoying the hell out of you. Yeah, would you kindly shut your noise hole? So let me just get to the time-lapse, and uh, you can watch me put this together and watch the first print, that little frog there, uh, print. It was pretty cool. Here we go.
This has been a Zero Calvin production and was brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs.